don't feel terrible. If I hadn't let you see Seb yesterday. It's not your fault. I mean, how are you to know what Lachlan would do? Who in the right mind would launch themselves onto a glass table just to make a point? And by the sounds of it, it worked. Rebecca now thinks you're the head case. Yeah, you know what, I'm glad. Don't let me waste any more time going up there trying to reason with her or her family. Just try not to let it wind you up. If you go fighting fire with fire, then what? Seb is all that matters. Yeah, believe me, he's the only thing stopping me from going up there right now and... Then think. Use your brain. You don't have to stoop to their level. He's my son. I won't be bullied out of his life by them or anyone. Then you have to be smart about this. For Seb. Yeah, well, don't worry. I intend to be. Where are you going? To get my son. Whatever it takes. It was in my wallet. I still think we should call the police. Robert can't be allowed to think he can just attack somebody out of the blue and get away with it. What if he changes his statement about Grandad running him over? It's done now, just leave it. Yeah, look, he's right. I'm not condoning what Robert did, but he's lost any chance of seeing Seb. And that's going to hurt him a lot more than anything the police can do. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I've just had Robert's solicitor on the phone. He wants us to try mediation. And if I don't, he can take me to court. He'll do anything to have access to Seb. And he thinks he's going to get it. Doesn't stand a chance. His name is on Seb's birth certificate. If only they knew what kind of a man he really is, then he wouldn't have any rights. It isn't fair. But this is Robert. He doesn't do fair. Well, then neither do we. I'll make a statement and show them just how violent he really is. It doesn't work like that. Mediation means we have to try and come to some kind of arrangement, which is the last thing that I want. Then tell them the truth about him. Let it go to court. That way we get to expose all his sordid little secrets. Do you have any idea how long that could go on for? It could drag on for years. Well, we'll think of something. No, I can't take that risk. I want this sorted now. Maybe then Seb and I can get on with our lives without Robert. Did you speak to our solicitor? Hmm. And? There must be some way we can stop Robert. The truth is, he does have his rights, no matter what we might think about him. Well, then we give him proof, show him what he did to me. <laughs> At the end of the day, it would just be our word against his. What, so that's just it? Well, I wish there was more we could do, but legally, we have to comply with the court process. Only if we are here. What do you mean? I've just been on the phone with a friend in Australia. I was always planning a visit in the new year, but um, it might be a more permanent trip. Well, you would go halfway around the world? To the moon, if I had to. Anything to keep my son safe. I know it seems extreme, but what other choice have I got? It's either that or face the thought of Robert being in Seb's life. I want to be there when he realises you've gone. Wipe that smug smile off his face. Lucky. I know you've got every reason to hate Robert, but that's not helping. Why should Rebecca have to leave again? You know as well as I do that Robert won't give up. I need to get as far away as I can. Look, I know it's a lot to take in. And believe me, I don't want to leave you, but... It's the only way to be free of Robert. You can come visit once I'm settled. It's not the same as watching my grandson grow up. The last thing I want is for you to suffer because of me, but I have to do this. Believe me, I understand. Family comes first. Maybe we should all consider that. What do you mean? Well, if Rebecca's going, maybe we all should and get as far away as possible from Robert Sugden. <laughs>